Hey guys, so I'm going to start off this video by repeating what needs to be said. Uh, you should not look at cards as an investment unless you have a lot of money in stock, unless your home is paid off, your car is paid off, if your employee employer does 401k matching, which I do. I always tell my employees the first thing they should probably max out is the matching 401k because it's basically free money, right? So if you have any of those options available to you and you feel that you can put more money in said options, I think those options are way better than investing in cards. Real estate is another option that works for some people. Now, for me, I have as much real estate as I want, um, even more than I would, would like. I have as much stocks as I want and I don't really want to put more. I've never been a fan of crypto. I do like artwork and I have invested in artwork, but artwork, they're, they're no one, no one, when you invest money in a new artist, no one is expecting that new artist to ever be worth any money, including a new artist themselves. So again, even though I've invested in such things, it's just, you know, not advisable for anyone really to put money into it. It's like investing in a casino trip. Maybe you win a little bit of money, maybe you don't win a little bit of money, but it's a mother effing casino, right? So my suggestion, and this is why I'm making this video, is you know why every finance video, I will just say this in case somebody gets confused. My suggestion is do not invest in cards unless you are just maxed out everywhere else and you feel very confident in your other investments, right? Okay, well, that being said, the investment in cards has been really well. You know, it's surprisingly well. In hindsight, I could have purchased a lot more dual lands. Uh, there was at one time I was getting four or five emails a week about people wanting to sell their collections, many of them vintage. And I passed on some of those collections. I, I did make offers, and um, I think a lot of what is the money, a lot of the money involved is quite substantial it's not a small amount of money we're talking about here uh, we are talking about chunks and chunks of money when you buy something like like this now would i you know did i accidentally um walk into this yes did I buy these dual lands thinking they were a good investment at the time yes there are a lot of collections you know, at, at the volatility right now, they have been a fantastic investment because straight up, um, it, it's just, it's done exactly what it needed to do, which is make a shit ton of money. Uh, and the buy list is the buy list. Like I've always said, the buy list is true. Um, the buy list is something where you can rely on. It's somebody offering this price for anyone. And in my personal opinion, it, it's a really, really interesting thing to have a buy list. Not every card game has a buy list, you know, like, and it's not as strong or from a reputable company like Card Kingdom. And that's why this buy list is so interesting because it is a solid buy list from a company with a very good reputation. In Pokemon, there's not that much going on. People will buy Collecticon and so on but you don't have an online buy list where people feel comfortable sending hundreds of thousands of dollars online. In Magic, there is. Now, in terms of what I would say in, uh, in the uh, future realm of investing in cards, it's been kind of fun to see it go up. It's always fun when you see it go up in price, but uh, it's really gone up in price recently. You got the underground C of 600, now, anytime it's over 500, I think it's a pretty good price point uh, for it to be over uh, that price point. It's, it's just uh, a lot. It is a lot of money that is being funneled into these cards. And it's not just, I want to make sure you understand, it's not just Magic the Gathering. It's also Pokemon. Pokemon cards are doing incredibly well. And I think in terms of how well they can do in the future, how well they can do uh, larger, um, I, it, it's just, uh, I mean, it is what it is. And I think it's doing really, really well right now. So back to the other issues at hand and why I'm making this video. 
could you view cards as an investment? Um, yeah, it it is. It does go up. It does go down. It does go sideways, and most of the time it stays flat, right? But as a investment opportunity, there is probably some potential here. Um, there is some ability for things to continue to go up and. When you talk about uh, finances and, and money and what's happening right now, it's interesting. There is a lot of money being pumped into these cards right now. You look at the Pokemon alt art, you look at Disney Locana, you look at all this stuff and it's just like crazy. One Piece, it's just crazy how much money is uh, does exist in these particular cards. And there are more and more card vendors and more and more card shops opening. You can you can say that's good. You can say that's bad, you know. Um, but uh, overall, people are interested in buying cards. And I don't think they're going to stop. You know, I went to the mall the other day and they have these kiosks. And the kiosks are all people selling Pokemon cards. And not really magic cards. You can definitely say that magic cards are a little bit... Um, falling behind right when you talk about uh, what other people buy yeah probably magic cards are not really um i mean not really really like that attractive to be honest to people but i i think uh, it, it has potential it has the ability to go up in price and ed8s you know like fall out like people can criticize that but a shit ton of people bought it a shit ton of people bought it a shit ton of people continued to, you know, it, it's a lot of money being spent on these cards. And if I were to be, I, I think more money is going to be dumped into this. I think more and more money will be dumped into this and there's not much um, that can stop it. Because uh, in terms of where the money is coming from and... How much money is continuously being, I just don't see it ever stopping because, you know, it, it just doesn't seem to me that people want to stop collecting. And therefore, it, it's interesting, it's an interesting, it's an interesting investment opportunity only for the particular reason that it is going up. If it's going down, I, I would have no interest in it uh, from an investment standpoint. But it is just uh, going to the sky. I mean, I, bu I bought some uh, Weiss cards the other day. And supposedly, it's probably going to be in mail sometime soon. Man, like everything in the card market is heading up. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, my girlfriend and I, we, we opened a lot of Spy Family together. And it's just fun. It's like $35 on a Japanese box. And we just open as many boxes as we can for fun. Anyway, that is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hi, guys.